Spinal discs are the cushions or shock absorbers between each of the bones of our spine, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar, neck, mid-back, and low back. The discs are specialized tissue, uh, bound by a very firm membrane with soft, spongy tissue on the inside. Just like any tissue, if we put enough energy or physics through that tissue, it can rupture. So a, a disc herniation is a rupture of the soft shock absorber between our vertebra that can occur at really any level in the spine, but more commonly the neck and the low back. The most common symptoms of a disc herniation are abrupt onset of back pain with typically nerve pain associated with it. If you have a herniation in your neck, you might have abrupt onset of pain in your neck, possibly radiating down into the shoulder or down your arm. If you have a disc herniation in your low back or lumbar spine, you'll likely get acute or new onset low back pain with radiation into your buttock or down the leg in the nerve's specific distribution. In the mid back, a disc herniation might result in pain wrapping around the chest wall, which is consistent with the nerve distribution of the thoracic spine nerves. So the vast majority of patients do not need to be surgically treated for disc herniations. But if you do, you're gonna fall into one of two camps. Either you present with weakness or spinal cord compression that has us worried about your neurological exam and indicates that you might need surgery on a more expedited basis to prevent permanent neurological loss or progression. Other patients that are indicated for surgery have typically failed two, sometimes three months of non-operative care, including medicines, therapies, and injections, and they're simply not getting the pain relief that they need with the passage of time in those treatment modalities. If that's the case, we'll often recommend surgery. Surgery can be scary, but we typically try to coach patients through the whole process by giving them all the information that they need and setting up expectations up front. So after surgery for your herniated disc, again, whether it's in your neck, your mid-back, or your low back, patients should expect some relief of the nerve pain that they've been getting. But a little bit of faint pain is typical after that surgery as that nerve heals and recovers. 